So at USF, we teach this CS 107, which is our CS zero course, uh, computer science for non-majors. And we teach with App Inventor, which is a visual blocks language. And it's great, it really motivates students. It's very accessible so they can build really interesting apps like within the first few weeks. This semester, we tried an experiment a CS1 course, which is CS110 at our school. And the course had seven students who had taken 107 before and then took the course. There was also a bunch of students that took the course as their first beginning course, like most like CS majors kind of people. We use Java and a little bit of Python first and then Java, but Java, we use this library called the Java Bridge. It's the App Inventor Java Bridge. And it's a high level library on top of the Android SDK. So number one, it's a high level, easy to use library, but it's also got the same terminology. So basically every class is the same as a component in the visual App Inventor language. So the idea is the transition to, from the visual language to the textual language is easier because at least they're not having to learn a bunch of new terminology. So we tried this experiment and I think it's worked out pretty well. And a bunch of students, you know, the ones that took 107, I think that transition was really nice and, and they've really come a long way. It's really nice to see. And I think also the students that, that hadn't had the 107, we did a little bit of App Inventor programming in this course. So they at least had some of that transition to help them. And one interesting thing was, you know, I didn't go straight to Java from the start. We started with Python and kind of a traditional curriculum. So we weren't doing cool apps or anything. We were building your normal bank account or we built the mastermind game and some, some simple command line apps, right, with Python. And then about week six or seven, we switched to Java and they started building apps with the, the Java Bridge Library. Um, you know, that transition was, was good, um, but I think there is, you know, the, the downside is you're learning counting App Inventor three different languages, and that can be a little unsettling for, for students. Now, on the other hand, they also kind of see that programming is this thing and you can use different languages to kind of express yourself in, in coding.